hello. Thank you for tuning in to Any Day Blessings. I just wanted to do a quick uh, library haul of sorts, I guess. Um, I've seen some other ladies do what I'm reading videos, and I never seem to find any Memoria Press Kindergarten videos on here. So if you have done Memoria Press Kindergarten, I would love to see a video review of the material and... Um, and what you thought of the read aloud list, because I'm telling you, we've loved the read alouds. We see a lot of videos about Memoria Press literature guides for um, elementary and middle school and on up, but I've never really seen anyone review their um, reading list for kindergarten, and that's what this is. This is the portion only of the list. This is just the last chunk because we're finishing up our school year here, but I'm just gonna go through the titles, and there's one book I just wanna tell you a little bit more about, but. Bread and Jam for Francis. This is a clever take um, on how to deal with picky eaters. This is the book I just kind of want to stop on for a second. This is Rocks a Boxin, and it's a retelling of some childhood memories of the author's mother. And when we read this book, my son was so excited, he wanted to go out and create Rocks a Boxin in his own yard. And what it um, what it's about is, is a town, an, an imaginary town, created by neighborhood children made of rocks and sticks and old crates and uh, just a great look at imaginary play in the summertime in a neighborhood and when we finished this book my son wanted to go out and make rocks of oxen and I thought oh, yes that's it that's what I want when we read good literature I want him to be engaged and excited and want to uh, do something with it and so um, this is a big favorite for us. Uh, Margaret Weiss Brown is on the list. The Little Fir Tree. Leo Leone, An Extraordinary Egg. The Seven Silly Eaters, another clever take on how to deal with picky eaters in your house. That would maybe help start some good conversations. <laughs> Eric Carle, um, he's on many different reading lists. Arnold Lobel, The Frog and Toads All Sang. This is actually a book of rhyming stories. It's not so much poetry, but some really... Um, fun and enjoyable rhyming stories. Come on rain. What do you do with a tale like this? There's also some science in this book, but it's very much um, in story form. And then uh, Abe's Fish. This is actually um, kind of a um, creative retelling of an, uh, an event that happened in Abraham Lincoln's childhood. So it's not meant to be historically, historically accurate per se, but just kind of a fanciful tale based on true events. So we've really loved, loved, loved the selections on this list, more so than any other kindergarten reading list that we've used, and we've used several. Um, we could not really get into any of the books really suggested by Sunlight. Those just were not a hit here. We have enjoyed many books off of the Simply Charlotte Mason reading list, um, we've been actually using that for a couple years now, and, and there are several that we've read a couple times because we really enjoy them. But this, the Memoria Press list, just about every book has been a hit. And um, if you've done um, the full Memoria Press Kindergarten, I think I mentioned this at the beginning, if you've done it in your home and you've done a review, I would love to see that video. You can leave the link below or tag me in it somehow. But I... I um, I kind of wish we would have known about Memorial Press Kindergarten before we started out our school year this year. We just might have used it because we've loved these books and I, I've taken a peek at some of their other things and we really, we, we really liked it. So this could be a summer option for you for your rising kindergartner or your graduating kindergartner. If you've already finished out your kindergarten year, you can still enjoy these books over the summer. So um, let me know if you have any questions, um, uh, want to know anything more about the books, and like I said, if you've used them, let me know what activities you've done, um, what you've enjoyed as a family. Thanks for watching.